This is Minecraft Trinity, a series inspired by flaming Moai's ultra hardcore generations. In this format, me and my two buddies try to beat the Ender Dragon Wither and Warden. On the way, everyone has one life like normal hardcore, but if somebody dies, they still have a chance. Because if one of us defeats one of the golds, everyone that died on the way gets their life back. We switch about every 15 in-game days and Sukanda started as the Wheel of Faith decided. Next in line is myself and then Professor Fink. Even though their videos are German, I'm sure you'd enjoy them. So make sure to check out the complete Minecraft Trinity playlist and their channels. For this video I had to ask Tsukanda on WhatsApp for the coordinates of the stronghold because I wanted to grab the Elytra as I mentioned in the last episode. So I made my way through the badlands and over the seas to find a village above the stronghold. Okay so around here should be where he made the hole and that looks like a hole. Yep, definitely a hole. Um, okay. Leave the water. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Um, don't crack the water so fast. Yeah, this this is better. <laughs> Almost died through fall damage. Okay, okay. Yep. This is the stronghold. Very nice. Okay. Time to make my way through here. Okay. <sighs> Let's get started. This doesn't get easier. Okay. Well, apparently he blocked off the ways. I searched a bit, found a library that I looted, and after a good while I came across another library. Nothing up here as well. Oh. Okay. Frostwalker, Silk Touch, Ayurveda. Yeah, so this is definitely Tsukanda stuff. So the portal probably is. Yeah, right here. Okay. Nice. This is the end. Right in front of us. Are you ready? Yep. But the Ender Dragon is already dead. So, it's nothing special, and that's what we want. We want to go to the Outer End Wilds. I built myself to the teleporter and threw an ender pearl to arrive in the Outer End. Alrighty. Yep. Okay, um, I don't know uh, how long this will take, but I'm not sure if this actually is true but apparently end city spawn at coordinates where chunks are dividable by 20 so i will look in this direction i guess i mean i have no other chance than walking around luckily it didn't take so long hey look at that is that a ship it is very nice. The first end city, I walked like, I don't know, 400 blocks and it is an end city wooden ship. I made my way through the city and I pulled to the boat and grabbed the elytra. Very nice. Okay. Let's equip this. And uh, where do I need to go? I believe this direction. And fly off. Time to go back home. I was able to reach a portal back to the main island without any rockets and returned home. My next plan was to grab some sugarcane and grab some wood for sticks to trade with the villagers for a mending book for the elytra. So I made some rockets and flew to the village. As I wanted to expand the local sugarcane field, I had to import some from all over the place and with that I was able to purchase a mending book. Okilodokily. Um, there's the phantom membrane. And now let's... Mm, yeah, okay, let's use two. Repair and mending. And that's almost perfect wings. Very nice. Wow. A glow. Okay. Now to 
this episode's three of plan. I need this. And the item frame as well. Um, I want... Okay, uh, I need some redstone because I want that I have the item frame with Nestle's feather. This is very important. Um, on the on the statue's foundation, and sometimes statues have these uh, little tags, and most of the time, like golden. I don't know, metal plates and then something's engraved in that. And I want you to be able to turn the feather or something like that, like interact with the item frame and then the door to the trails chamber opens. After watching some tutorials, I grabbed all the redstone I needed and renamed the feather. What a pain in the ass to rename, but that looks very nice. And now I should have everything I need to build that contraption. At the statue I had to duck around and try around a good bit, almost two Minecraft days I believe, until I got it to work. <sighs> okay, and now open. Uh, finally, what a pain in the ass. Okay, um, yeah, now I'm gonna wrap this up go back home and then I'll do the triad chamber I guess. On the way down I lit up the place and did what you do in a triad chamber. Ah there's the first one. Okay. Ah the skeletons. Okay. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the triad chamber these are new mobs I believe. Um, and besides the breeze enemy. And you have these, well, spawners, and they send out a couple of mobs, and if you defeat all of them, you get something out of the spawner. In my case, this is now a key, but that isn't what we're actually looking for. So there's like chests around this place. Um, Maybe down here. Oh, skeleton head. Didn't know that. Um, but what we actually want from the, let's call them tier ones, is an ominous potion. Because if you drink an ominous potion, you can get a tier two. And from the tier two, you can get tier two keys and open tier 2 uh, ouch tier 2 chests and in that kind of chests can be the parts of the maze and i believe uh, there's an enchantment that you can get only via these chests which obviously is for the maze as well I got an ominous potion key but didn't get anything for the maze so I returned to base to finish my plans for the statue. Okay, I want to leave this book with uh, instructions on how to get into the statue and then I want to rebuild the interior of the statue so it just uh, doesn't just lead down to the trials chamber but that there is a room with the spawning items for the wither. Once I finished the book I wrote the trinity log and thought fuck it. I packed everything important in Ashoka and destroyed and burned the rest of our items. Okay this can go two ways now. Um, first of all I will build a cozy room and place everything in there. He just needs to go from the house to the statue. Shouldn't be so hard even naked. And then he gets everything oh then he gets everything back. But I can't let him slide with killing my pet. I can't. I just can't. And that's why he needs to go here or something. I know this is a statue of peace, 
and uh, everything and I will write an extra book uh, as well I kept some stuff to make another book um, but uh, I don't know it's funny okay uh, yeah so I'll I don't know even this out and place the showcase randomly and he can just grab the stuff and ignore and ignore the um, book that I'm um, that I'll write or he can read it. I made a little hole where I placed the armor and everything very important and placed the trinity lock on top and wrote the book and bam. If you want to read the book check out Sukanda's video. Da -dum, sorry. And final final quest beat the wither. Very nice. Okay, that was a lot quicker than I thought. I guess that's it for Minecraft Trinity, from my side at least. Make sure to check out Sukanda's video where he beats the wither. Probably. Hopefully. This was a pretty short but pretty memorable project and I hope you enjoyed it as well as I did. I learned a lot, I would say. Okay, okay, you know what? Fate doesn't want me to kill myself. I wanted to, <laughs> to force Tsukanda to beat the wither, as I'm a bit scared that he will bullshit me and turn this around and that I'll have to film another episode. But yeah, that's it. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. And that's it for this video and probably with Trinity from my side. I hope you enjoyed the project and had fun watching us do this challenge. Check out the others as well and leave some love. I'm proud that I came up with this and that so many of you enjoyed it so much. And I'm really glad that so many of you enjoyed it. I have some ideas for future series as well, but I would really like your guys' opinion on what I should do next. So please, if you have any ideas, comment them down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you don't want to miss any future videos. I hope to see See you then and until next time, dear plug enjoyers.